Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. We've got another news video for you today and this is a bumper episode. I'm just feeling so excited with the continued development of this story. I want to give a quick shout out to the winner of our blind bag competition yesterday, Gecko Man Plays. He won a sealed 2016 Flame Marine and 2010 Cyan Spartan. And I announce all the winners of my competitions on Twitter, so please do follow me, Motion Domain. But if you don't have a Twitter, I'll always comment on the winning comment. <laughs> comment on the comment saying who's won anyway, so don't worry. The news today comes from Kevin MCX. He is a worker at Mega Construct, so he's direct in the office. This is great intel. But first of all, we're going to go on a bit of a tangent and talk about the Marine Platoon Pack, which you may be thinking, Simon, why on earth are you bringing up this old set? Let me tell you. So this is available at Target right now for $20, which I'm sure you know it's been there for ages. Like, look, Look at this kid. Look at how happy he is with his marine platoon bag. Don't you want one of those? So it's in stock right now, but I just kind of want to give you all a heads up saying I think this will be the last opportunity for you to buy this pack. I think once it's out of stock, it'll be scalped like crazy online. And if you didn't know, I made a review on the new Banished Garrison pack very recently. Thank you so much for the support on that video. And in that, I unboxed the brand new Garrison pack that arrived from Walmart, and it is genuinely the best figure pack that I've seen in a long time. It beats out the marine platoon pack, but maybe you also want that platoon pack for, you know, all the marines. Like, it is an exceptional army builder set. So the Banished Garrison pack is one thing, but let me tell you, once this is readily available everywhere, the marine platoon pack will be gone. And then the only way will be to get it on eBay and the prices will be crazy. So I do urge you, as a good bit of advice, if you want to get the marine platoon pack, I believe this is like the last week, maybe the last two weeks that we'll see that in stock before all of the stock is replaced by banished garrison packs. So you heed my warning. So tangent aside, as well as showing you the new images of the haunted helmet today, we're also doing a deep dive into Kevin MCX and the website Mega Unboxed, which I think still a lot of people don't know about. Kevin MCX is a designer at Halo Mega Constructs headquarters in Montreal, and he's been doing some really fantastic work online, including promoting this website Mega Unboxed. This is a really dope space where you can share your customs, builds, anything like that, even really nice pictures of your figures. And it's a pretty active site. Like I love exploring this in my downtime. It's a great alternative to Facebook. If you're too young or you don't want to be, you know, invested in Facebook, it's not very good for you in some ways. So I really enjoy Mega Unboxed. I think it's a very respectable website and it's owned by Mega. You can also go to this website and check out instructions manuals for sets, including the alt builds of lots of these sets that you already own. So check out the Skiff Intercept. You can build these two speeders and they have full instructions. It's very interactive, very fun, and you can build all the alt builds. I know this information is probably known by a lot of people, but for new fans to the franchise, they may not even know that these alt builds exist. And the Pelican Inbound particularly, I don't have a second Pelican to build this, but it is one of the greatest structures that we've seen from Halo Mega Constructs. So it's definitely worth a purchase. I'm looking at you, Noble Six Originals, with your, like, six pelicans or whatever it is. Uh, so Kevin MCX, he shares a lot on this website. I'm talking behind the scenes, prototypes, upcoming sets, custom builds that he's made himself. I can tell just by looking at this that this is a guy who really enjoys his job. He's very interactive with the community, including appearing on Build With Blocks, a podcast run by Halo Podcast Evolved on YouTube. I've highlighted a few of my favorites, including including a early behind the scenes look at Halo Infinite Series 3 blind bags, a behind the scenes at New York Toy Fair when they first revealed the Pelican inbound. Man, that feels like a long time ago. Even mammoth custom builds shared from inside Toy Fair. Like, I just want to go to this event so badly. And then we've got this dope poster of the Master Chief from Halo Infinite recreating the cover art of the game. And you can download this image in high quality by following the link to his bio in my comments section. He also shared a behind the scenes look at when they changed the height 
from a little too tall to about regular height marines. Like, that was a really great moment. You spoke, we listened, we have an update to share regarding the height of the Halo Infinite marines. And, you know, this is the kind of thing, this is why I'm making these videos right now, because I want more and more interaction between the community and Mega Constructs themselves. They do have good PR, but they are quite a closed off company in some ways. Like, I don't want to bash on anything, but I really do hope that they open the floodgates and share more behind the scenes content. Like, this haunted helmet is the perfect example of what they can do. They could share behind the scenes renders of all their upcoming figures, sketches the like. So let's talk about just that. Last year, Mega Constructs ran a poll where you could decide one of the figures for Halo Heroes Series 16. The decision making was fierce. Between a Flood Combat form, a CQB from Halo 3, Haunted Helmet from Halo Reach, and the Thrall Slayer from Halo Wars. The Haunted Helmet won by a long shot, and yes, I always use the hashtag justice for Thrall Slayer. I really wanted that monkey to win, but at the end of the day, thousands of people voted, and there's no point going to the comment section and complaining about the winner, because it was very unanimous. It was a very large victory by the Haunted Helmet. The first sneak peek we got of this figure in production was this sketch showing off the removable visor, the new breacher chest plate. Like, this was a really exciting thing to see. I made a news video about that months and months ago. Like, I've been following this story very well for the past six or nine months, and that's why I just want more of this to happen in the future. It's so exciting to hear your responses on how excited you are as well for this figure. We also saw a 3D render. This was the next update posted to the Mega Constructs Instagram account. They do post a few things there, and it shows off the brown being the new molding, the breacher chest, and the haunted helmet, which is originally a pilot helmet, and it's just a fantastic look at this figure. It gets me very hyped, particularly that translucent visor. Right, so on to the newest update. We've got our third look at this figure, and this is hot off a 3D printer. This is factory produced, and look at this. There's our haunted helmet in all of its glory. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Like, that skull looks so realistic to me, particularly the nose. It looks pretty damn frightening. And there it is with the visor. The fact that you're going to be able to remove and attach this visor is pretty wild. You can also see the breacher chest looking pretty fantastic. The shoulders are remolds. There's nothing new there, but it doesn't have to be. The removable visor, the helmet itself, and the chest is enough for me. Like, that really shows that Mega has put a lot of effort into the new molds. They could have just kept a normal chest. They could have just had one piece helmet. It, but no, they've gone out of their way. And you can see that haunted helmet as a sort of add-on to the base pilot. Like, it's really fantastic that you will actually have a translucent visor. And I think it is Mega's intention, so they can then gloss it over and sell just the pilot helmet as well. Now that the team has signed off on the look for the digital sculpt, the new parts were sent to the 3D printer to create the first physical versions. The 3D printing process produces parts with rough surfaces which are visible in the pictures. The design team uses these to test the fit with existing parts and make sure details and proportions are right. They also want to make sure the Spartan can turn his head. For Spartan Haunted, the team's biggest challenge is the separate visor. Since the part is so small, the designers, sculptors, and engineers involved are working together closely to make sure the outline of the visor and its connection to the helmet works well. The first pass of the visor part was larger and included a higher proportion of the helmet. Although this approach simplified the connection with the helmet, it also required the visor to be partially painted. Since matching paint and plastic resin colors exactly is difficult to achieve in production, the team tried a different approach. The visor was made smaller and a different type of connector was used to attach it to the helmet. For the customizers out there, with a little elbow grease, the visor will be removable. That's awesome. What do you think so far? Will this be a cool figure? Kevin, I think this is gonna be a cool figure. Like, I don't think anyone's questioning that at this point. We're all very excited. And let me know down below how hyped you are. I made a video recently speculating on what Halo Heroes figures both I want to see next and what I think is predictable, like what I do think will happen. And you can check out that video, it was a lot of fun to make. I think Halo Heroes Series 16 must be just around the corner. I wouldn't be surprised after this reveal if we get a full figure lineup reveal very, very soon. But they only just shared this production image, like a very early prototype in terms of sculpting and molding. So, 
don't know. I don't know exactly how Mega Constructs works. Maybe digital renders are made a lot earlier, so maybe the full lineup of Halo Hero Series 16 already exists in digital form. Remember, what you can see in front of you is not actually Halo Hero Series 16, but let me know if you think any of my predictions are correct. And as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. I got videos coming out every single day this year, and let me tell you, I'm fired up as ever. Life is very confusing, very challenging, but I know you guys have got my back. So you stay awesome, you stay safe, folks, and the domain is signing off. I'll see you tomorrow.